Hello, thank you and welcome to this channel. It has been so great having you. World Weary, also known as Hush Puppy, plead guilty to fraud charge in UK agrees to pay victims $8 million. It has been that Olale King Jacob Pole, popularly known as Mr. Woodbury, an internet fraudster and an ally of the convicted internet fraud kid Pin. Raman Abbas, popularly known as Hush Puppy, has pleaded guilty to count one of the eight counts brought against him in the court, US. He further agreed to surrender $8 million in proceeds of fire fraud as well as luxury cars and watches to the foreign government. Woodbury earlier pleaded not guilty to the charges in which he was accused by engaging in a fraudulent scheme known as business email compromise. He was arrested in Dubai on June 10, 2022. 2020 alongside Roman Hush Puppy or Abbas, who is currently serving an 11 year jail term in the US for fraud. In July 2020, Sarah reporters in line what we have gathered reported that Hush Puppy, Hoodbury, and 10 others were arrested in an operation tagged Force Hunt after they were accused of committing crimes outside the UAE, including money laundering, cyber fraud, hacking criminal impersonation, scamming individuals, banking fraud, and identity theft. Director of Dubai CID, Brigadier Jamal Salam A.L. Ajaf, said, the raid that led to the arrest resulted in the, conf in the confiscation of incriminating document of a planned fraud on a globe scale worth $435 million. But a plea declaring submitted at the United States District Court of the Northern District of Illinois Eastern Division on April 6, 2023 shows that would be made a U-turn and pleaded guilty to count one of the charges. Meanwhile, according to his plea agreement, he was required to repay the $8 million he fraudulently received from the seven companies that fell for his scam. People's Gazette reported that the document containing Mr. Woodbury's signed plea declaration states, defendant understands that by pleading guilty, he will definitely subject to forfeiture to the United States all right tight and the interest that he has in any property consulting or derived from proceeds obtained directly or indirectly as a result of the offense. On to this, the court also asked him to waive his rights to the luxury cars and designer watches he had slashed in Dubai to the government authorities. The items seized by Wibri include the items seized by Wibri include high-end automobile rules Royce, calling out with vehicle number nine. J9153 Lambashire Euros 1014973. All right, it has been there are so many other things, include among one Patrick Phillips watch, three Thunderous Pigeot watches, three gold hand diamond standard earring, and six gold neck chains. In 2022, Mr. Wilbury forfeited 151.8 Bitcoin, which was worth roughly $6 million to the U.S. government, while the U.S. authorities have determined to recover all stolen monies from the Nigerian Foster. Hmm. Mr. Wilbury's sentencing is scheduled for July 11, 2023. All right, that has been so report so far. Uh, that is the report so far as it stands. 
Wobre, a lay of internet fraud convict Hush Puppy plead guilty to fraud charge in US, agreed to pay victim $8 million. My fellow country people, what is your take on this matter? As a lot of Nigerians have said that this is totally obsolete on Africa. If it is we are it, we are in Africa, all these things will not be talking about by now. They will have trashed it. But this one happened right in the UK. He further agreed to surrender eight million dollars in proceeds of wire fraud as well as luxury cars and watches to the foreign government. Hmm. The ad means they will recover everything. Everything that he has made from fraudulent will be anything that we made from fraud will be taken away from him. Hmm. Alright my people, let me have your take on this. As director of Dubai CID, Brigada Jamal Salam Al Jalaf said the raid that led to the arrest resulted in the confiscation of incriminating document of a planned fraud or a global scale worth $435 million. Hmm, this is a fridge. But a plea but a plea declaration submitted at the United States District Court of the Northern District of Illinois Eastern Division on April 6, 2023 shows that Woolbury made a U-turn and pleaded guilty to count one of the charges. Well, according to the report, he pleaded agreement and he agreed that uh, he was required to repay the sum of $8 million. Hmm. Wow, that is a huge amount. My wonderful people what more are we going to say other than to let you comment and then say your take on this matter remember to subscribe and send and also share so they can be getting more updates coming from this channel thanks and god bless